Thanks a lot. So USA Today reports nearly one third of men have no regular doctor and many men don't go to a physician until, get this, their 40s or 50s. Now this on the heels of Prostate Cancer Awareness Month, so we want you to listen up. Dr. Judd Fisher with the Healthcare Partners Nevada has some tips that we need to tell all of the men in our lives about. Doc, thank you so much for being here. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Okay, let's talk about what men need to do. Give your advice because a lot of times they don't listen to their spouses or their significant others? Well, we can talk about different age groups. In the 20s and 30s, we like to talk about making sure that men are aware of their weight. Okay. There are apps that they can talk about and, and look up to look at body mass index, which is mm -hmm. an indicator of a healthy weight for men based on their height. That's talking about the BMI. Yes, okay. ma'am. All right. Sure is. And also, an important item here is take a look at your genetic history. Mm -hmm. If your parents had certain medical conditions yeah. or your grandparents had certain medical conditions, this predisposes the man to these. And so talking with this, uh, with their provider about mm -hmm. their risks may have the provider accelerate the rate at which we screen for some of these illnesses. Awesome. Uh, in addition, uh, vaccination update, tetanus, pertussis, uh, and getting blood pressure check is crucial. Blood pressure mm -hmm. check should begin in the 20s and even as early as 18, mm -hmm. unless there's a strong family history. Mm -hmm. And then at least every two years, men should have their blood pressure checked. Okay, so I have this friend I was telling you about during commercial break. Nice guy, but you tell me what he has, because I've been preaching to him. He has trouble with his feet. He drinks a lot of soda. Um, and is always thirsty, but he never drinks water. So what do you think? Well, certainly we'd be worried about the possibility of diabetes. That's what I told him. I diagnosed him. Yeah. You did well. Okay. <laughs> But these are things, Doc, and you know, all jokes aside, a lot of men just won't go to the doctor. How do we start the conversation to get them to understand how important this is? Well, the concept of wellness is something we want to we want to really push for men. I mean, yeah. health maintenance is crucial, and we want to make sure that they understand as they develop a relationship with their physician, yeah. healthcare provider, that we will continue to monitor their health to help keep them out of trouble and let them live a, a good, long, enjoyable life. Yeah. And uh, we will make sure that we can do that for them as long as they come in and see us. We've got right. to get them in and see us. Oftentimes, men don't get in until their 40s and 50s when typically wives finally say, hey, go in there and see your doctor. Yeah, let's talk about prostate awareness. It's Prostate Cancer Awareness Month. Men, this is the one where I know in the African American community, I've talked to a lot of doctors, minorities in general, the only reason men are not diagnosed, for the most part, is because of pride. They won't go in for that prostate check. Well, the digital rectal exam that is crucial to evaluating men for prostate cancer and also lab testing, et cetera, is something that they just don't want to talk about. Right. And it's really not a big deal. Uh, it's, it's something that's quick, it's easy, and based on family history, it may accelerate your risk dramatically, just like breast cancer in women right. accelerates risk. There's a one in nine risk for prostate cancer for men. If there's family history, it accelerates it to one in three Ooh. lifetime risk, just like breast cancer in females. Okay, Doc, thank you so much. I wish I could talk to you a little bit longer. We are out of time. How do folks get a hold of you and the, uh, the partners as well around the Valley? Well, we're with Healthcare Partners Nevada. We have 47 offices throughout uh, Las Vegas, Henderson, okay. Boulder, and Pahrump. Okay. And we are here to help and here to help with your health maintenance. All right, wonderful. Thank you so much Thank for being you. on the show Thank and bringing you. this issue to light. We appreciate it. All right, Sean, when was the last time you went to the doctor, young man? I think I'm about due for a checkup. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Monica. <laughs>